Are your pants feeling a little tight right now? I know mine are. So that's why we're gonna kick healthy eating back into high gear for this new year. Hey busy bees, it's Zung, and as I just mentioned, it's time to eat healthy again, and I'm gonna help you shed those pounds once and for all. We're gonna be making flat belly food oatmeal four ways and we're gonna be making them savory. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the oatmeal, it's really quite simple. It's a ratio of one cup of oats to two cups of water. To make it super creamy, my trick is to replace some of the water with milk. You can use plant milk, you can use regular milk, it's really up to you. So I like to batch make my oatmeal, so I'm gonna double that ratio and start with four cups of water, but instead of four cups, I'm gonna do three cups of water and one cup of milk, which I'll add into the pot and bring it to a light simmer. Once it kind of starts to bubble, I'm gonna add my two cups of rolled oats, give it a good mix, and on medium heat, just let it begin to cook. So oats are one of the healthiest grains on earth. They're gluten-free, they're chock full of vitamins, minerals, and a great source of antioxidants. One of the healthy benefits of oats actually is that it helps you to lose weight, reduce cholesterol levels, and it even helps to protect your heart against heart disease. So it's a really great superfood in my opinion that I love to enjoy for breakfast. In this video, I'm using rolled oats, but if you prefer steel cut oats, which are a little bit hardier of a grain, um, they're they take longer to cook. You can definitely use those, um, increase the water level, or if you don't have time to cook rolled oats, you can always opt for quick cooking oats, which are basically rolled oats that's been steamed, um, and it doesn't contain as much nutrients, but it's still good for you. With quick oats, you wanna reduce the amount of liquid by half a cup. Every once in a while, give it a quick stir to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and burn. So I've cooked my oats for about 10 minutes and it's absorbed almost all of the liquid. And that's how you know when it's almost done. I have just a few minutes left to go until it's less liquidy when I run the spatula down the middle. And this is the kind of consistency that I like my oats. There's still a hint of liquid left because as it sits, it absorbs more liquid and I don't want hard oats. So this is perfect. Kind of porridgey. And here's our creamy oats. They look so delicious and I can't wait to top them. I know what you're thinking. Oats in the past have not provided enough sustenance to keep you full all morning. But today I'm gonna top them with things like protein, fiber, veggies, yummy sauces that'll keep you full until lunchtime, I promise. So now we're gonna assemble our green eggs and ham. I'm gonna start with a generous scoop of our creamy oatmeal. I usually get at least half a cup. Add it to my bowl. And since I always like to sneak in a little bit of veggies, I have some wilted kale. Then I'll top it with a fried egg, some ham, and then for additional flavor, a drizzle of pesto. And that's our green eggs and ham. Let's get some greens in there. Our oatmeal, of course. Some ham, and pesto. And then of course I have to show you the egg because the egg will act as kind of like a creamy sauce for our oatmeal. Mm. Mm. Savory oats are the way to go. If you've ever had congee, the texture of the oatmeal is very similar to that and it's just comforting. This bowl on a cold winter day is just exactly what I need. All right, so that was our green eggs and ham. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is my kind of spin on huevos rancheros. For this one, I've decided to make it vegan. If you wanna add an egg to this, feel free to do so. But I've started with about a cup of my oats already in the bowl. And then I'm gonna add some black beans. The black beans are gonna provide a lot of fiber and protein. Then I have some fresh pico de gallo that I made, but if you wanna make it easy on yourself, the grocery store has pre-made fresh ones that you can buy as well. Half a sliced avocado. When slicing an avocado, make sure to use a butter knife so you don't get avocado hand. 
and a squeeze of lime. And that's our Huevos Rancheros Vegan Bowl. If you guys are into hot sauce, I highly recommend Cholula or Tapatio on top because it just brings out all the flavors and that kick of spice is so good. All right, next I'm giving our oatmeal an Asian spin. We're gonna do a miso ginger with a soft boiled egg. With the oats steaming hot, I'm gonna add a little bit of miso, ginger, and garlic, and this will meld the flavor directly into our oatmeal so every bite is filled with that gingery, miso-y goodness. I'll mix it up. Then I'll add some of the greens from earlier, and I'll top it with a soft boiled egg. And that's our simple miso ginger oatmeal. This looks so good. Let me give it a quick taste. Mm. The miso gives it a salty bite. And then because I put in grated ginger and garlic, you also get notes of that. Combined with the creaminess from the soft boiled egg, this is this is it guys, you have to try this. If you ever decide to try any of the recipes in this, this is the one to start with. And our last bowl is the ultimate protein bowl. I'm gonna start by adding some caramelized onion that'll add so much flavor to our oats. Then a little bit of fire roasted red bell peppers that I just got from a jar. Then I'll top it with my favorite sausage, chicken apple sausage. I'm gonna call this one our antipasti oatmeal bowl. This one is a quick and easy one that you can throw together in the morning if you have caramelized onions ready. And then since the red bell peppers from a jar and I always keep sausages on hand so it's easy to put together under 10 minutes. And just a quick tip, because I batch make my oatmeal in the morning, I always like to rehydrate it with some boiling water to make it nice and creamy again. So if you get those gunky and kind of dry gluey oats that you keep in the fridge, just rehydrate them with some boiling water and then you're good to go. And there you have four savory oat ideas for breakfast that'll keep you full until lunchtime. I hope you enjoyed these ideas. If you have a favorite way of making savory oats, I'd love to know about them. So be sure to comment below and share your tips and ideas. If you're still looking for ways to eat healthy this new year, I have my 30 days of healthy eating and living series that I will link in the description box below and I'll also add in the end card. And if you're still craving some sweet things, I've got you covered as well. We have seven life-changing smoothies that'll help fill you up as well for breakfast and overnight oats, which we now have 15 different ways to make it interesting. Give this video a like if one of your goals is to become healthier this year and subscribe below to become part of the Busy Bees community where we will all help each other stay accountable and be healthy this new year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm-hmm.